Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Lex Ellis, with a spectacular event of entertainment for you tonight. This is Classy Readings of Free Grand Cave Reviews. Are you sitting comfortably? If not, maybe get yourself a scotch, a cigar, wear your favourite smoking jacket, sit back, relax and enjoy. This first review is for Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Reminds me of two very clean people doing incredibly dirty things to one another. Easily my most complimented fragrance, partially because it smells divine, partially because it has monster sea eyes and cannot be ignored. You need to try this one on your own skin. I cannot stress that enough. You also need to be patient, it takes time to settle, so if you initially hate B.O., bear with it and sniff yourself in an hour. On me, it smells like sex. And now on to the second one. This is for women now. I thought it was unisex like most of Tom Ford's perfumes. Oh well, looks like I'll need to smell like my mum. It's awesome by the way. Here are two reviews for El Vahab's Choco Musk. When I wear this, I feel like a Coco Man. Nice smell, nice projection and great longevity. Many compliments from all my friends. And now the second. Mmm, Yummy, said green sharp citrus person, smiley face. Here are two reviews for Club de Nuit Intense by our math. Another poor copy of Aventus. Please stop comparing them. Now the second. I have not smelled Aventus, but this one smell awesome for just $20. Go ahead and give a try, you will get compliments. Here are two for Dior's Leather Oud. Funky barnyard, cheesy oud and leather. A wild beast, now reduced to a pale ghost. Now for the second. This fragrance is perfect, period. If you were on YouTube looking up top 10 male fragrances less than two years ago, then you shouldn't be writing reviews or opinions on complex fragrances, etc. To that I say, sir, please get off your hide horse before you make a cunt of yourself in the most classy way possible. No disrespect intended. Here are two reviews for Lalique's Encre Noir. Old wooden Catholic church burning. I love how it wasn't just any church, it had to be a Catholic church. Nice specifics. Now for the second. I had it and it was the best of its kind. A lady once told me she loved how I smell. I am bang again. It smells so wonderful in the evening on shirt. Here's two reviews for YSL's La Nuit de Lone. Lust wrapped in luxury, devilishly enticing, triumphant seduction in a bottle, kneeled down upon its power. Now for the second, it smelled like chocolate cake. It's pleasant, but not worth more than $40. Projection is in close environment and dress up. It's great among family gatherings, office very inoffensive. Here are two reviews for Salvador Dali Poor Home. Sweaty stallions in a dry forest at sunset. Fantastic. He was the second. Maybe your wife was menstruating. If your wife does not like Salvador Dali PH, change your wife. Great scent, 10 out of 10. Here are two reviews for Amen Ultra Zest. Such a great perfume, shouldn't be a limited edition. Blast Oz Ice Creamy Orange with Soft Angel Man Dry Down. Be ready for compliments. And now for the second. At least if the lights fail in the bathroom, it'll be easy to find a bottle. Here are two reviews for Halston Z14. Aromatic juniper-like at first, and a little spicy and almost earthy, then cinnamon bomb in the dry down, like smelling a cinnamon jar. And now for the second. A legendary column of the 70s, so unique, sexy and lasting, never been paired since. I do hope you wonderful ladies and gentlemen have enjoyed tonight's entertainment. Now you can relax, have a glass of champagne, smoke a cigar, or maybe even have cheeky sex on the veranda for all the neighbours to see, but it's a five star hotel, so it's perfectly okay. That's a classy thing to do. Elfine.